place we're gonna go now. <laughs> skydive one jump last one minute when you go back jump one jump last uh, 20 seconds with this you can race all day like today I was racing a six hour and uh, six hours of joy from the morning to the evening it was very how to say demanding and uh, challenging because it was the first time and like my wife said I look I, I might be a little bit too old for this already sometimes it was quite nice but sometimes it was terrible because it was shaking so much I, I, I try to you can see the papers you need to read and tell where to drive and it was pumping like this it was nice first day <laughs> <laughs> Finnish coffee is better for me. I like it espresso, but enough is enough. Race day number two. I'm tired and I'm hurt so much. Yesterday was first time I was in rally and using this. But I'm flying and that, that's why I need to know something about navigation because you will get lost if you don't know where you are. Turbo, which was just serviced before we left here, it was driving only about 200 kilometers, it gave up, it was leaking oil to the engine. From the first vessel stage we drove about 120 kilometers without turbo. And for second stage we didn't left because that car was totally broken. Boys have been fixing it all night long and I was sleeping. I haven't seen them yet but I trust that it's okay. Uh, today we have a two, uh, maybe 200 250 kilometers on the dunes. So it will be, a, I think, for this kind of race car, it will be easier than a car, normal cars. 
uh, but it's uh, not easy to navigate, navigate there. So overall, I think it's gonna be a tough day. Some dunes and uh, and some uh, really fast sections that you go with the full speed as fast as this machine going and uh, yeah quite nice. My lips are a little bit and my voice is a little bit dry. No problem. Yes, no problem. It was like it was set in the road book. It was partly challenge, very challenging, but uh, we were few times lost, but we managed to find the way back. <laughs> 